Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I'm in uh, Caterpillar's Edwards Proving Ground with Kent Pellegrini, who's Product Application Specialist for Excavators. Kent, the 335F is the biggest uh, compact radius machine in the marketplace. Why is that important to contractors? Uh, for a contractor running a machine like this, depending on what you do, uh, we see a lot of them on highway jobs. That's one of the, one of the areas they fit into. The narrow and tight spots where more or less the traditional excavator has got a longer tail swing is not going to work. So this machine, as you see, it's got almost a zero tail swing on it. So it can work in a one-lane closure, mm -hmm. unlike a traditional excavator with a, a large overhang. Not only that, it's got a heavy counterweight, and it's mainly a, a pick-and-place machine. Okay. Uh, All right. So uh, what size class we're talking about? 35-ton machine to 36 okay. kind of fits right in that range. Uh, okay. The machine's got a 10-foot stick on it. It's transportable. It's just about 80,000 pounds, so you can get it on a truck and trailer. We do have it equipped today with a blade. Just kind of feeling the market out right now about it. Mm -hmm. It's not traditionally offered with blades in North America, but trying to see what more versatility we can bring to the machine. We should also say that the, the, you know, the other features of this machine fit perfectly with the F-Series. It's the, the, the same cab the uh, hydraulic system that, uh, that, that we've developed for, the, for this machine. What's the, when, when we put, put it in context, how, how, uh, how much work can this machine do relative to say the next biggest uh, compact radius machine in the market? I mean, this, this one fits in a certain segment. So right. it's, like I said, a lift in place, this machine's gonna pick, pick materials tighter to the truck. Okay. A traditional excavator to have to back away from the truck to pick, say, a man box. Okay. Off. This is a little more versatile. It's got a little more pick power. It loses reach, but we gain lift. So that's probably one benefit to a, a, a contractor where more lift in place is needed. Okay. And then not only that, we can switch right back around and we can dig with the machine. Okay. So, you know, a full-size cab, like you mentioned, that's great going all the way across. This replaces our old 328 DLCR mm -hmm. Tier 4 final. Not only that, it's, a, it's got a high ambient cooling package. So now we just opened up a whole other market for us in the southwest where we couldn't go before, a little too hot with it. You know, you can hit up to 120 degree temps, the machine still runs. You you say you give up a little bit of reach it, when it's in, in uh, lift uh, mode. Is there a is there a uh, an equivalent reach um, package for the front end of this machine? Yeah, we we standardize on a 10 foot six stick okay. on this machine. Okay. Um, we run our 12 10 sticks on the standard 336 E's and also the 10 foot stick. But this combination with a coupler gives us the maximum lift capability. The boom can actually arc back into the machine a little bit more, brings the center of gravity closer, a better digging, better lifter up tight. Right now it's really the only tier four final compact radius machine in its size class right now. Okay. So I think that's a benefit to customers to know that we have the emission strategy to go forward. Right. We have them positioned to do the work they need to do. Well, in all the major metro areas where uh, they're requiring more and more emissions specific uh, performance on project sites and that sort of thing, I got to think that this is going to be a popular machine on highway jobs in Chicago and New York yep. and uh, certainly all throughout California. Yep, absolutely. California, New York City, Chicago, any inner urban area where yeah. you have any spurs on the highway or where this machine's really got to get into a tight spot makes a big big difference when you got a real compact radius in this size class we'll eventually come out with our smaller one but it's going to take a little bit of time yet okay but right now this is available and ready okay what's the smaller size range going to be like right now it's looking right in the 20 ton range where the old 328 dlcr was at